It has been three years since we introduced the C90 Mark IV. Many new upgrades had been accomplished compared to the C90 Mark III, and the market was ready for a new C90. The C90 Mark IV draws on its legacy and knowledge accumulated by its seven user nations. This ensures that the C90 system is not modern only today, but as long as the fleets keep accumulating data and adopt. This by utilizing the potential for growth to increase the performance in mobility, survivability, and firepower. C90 is not only modern, it is relevant, which is even more important. From the nuclear threats of the Cold War era, C90 draws a direct line to the more eminent threat of the thermobaric warheads. The design philosophy of the C90 with the minimal hull principle still applies. Every engagement starts with the detection of the target. If it's hard to detect, it is hard to defeat. So design efficiency is the most important aspect, since it is the ratio between actual usable payload and total weight of the vehicle system. So a 30% increase in the projected side area will not only render a more heavy vehicle, but it will also result in a 50% increase in the detectable area above natural mask. The CV90 has the lowest visible signature of all modern IFVs. The substantial effort in designing the CV90 with the lowest possible signatures in the visual, infrared, radar and audible ranges has not been easy. But we are proud to deliver an IFV that is very hard to detect by human senses or advanced sensors. In the last decades, we have seen a tremendous effort in mobilizing coalition forces to support allies establishing and preserving peace long outside our own territory. In present times, we focus on our own territory, our neighboring countries, and our region of the continent. There is still, of course, a need to transport equipment, perhaps not by plane or ships, but by truck or trains. Mobility has two fundamentally different parts, tactical and strategic mobility. CV90 excels in both. To design for strategic mobility, you have to be very precise and thorough in your design, and thereby you fit into very important envelopes. For instance, envelopes for train transport. Other contemporary IFVs do not fit, and will significantly decrease your freedom of movement and increase time for larger troop maneuvers. CV90 has always been the benchmark for mobility in armor fighting vehicle segment. No other OEM has put the same amount of effort to explore the limits of what's possible to achieve with a tracked vehicle. Basic mobility of a tracked vehicle is to surpass that of a wheeled vehicle. Stellar mobility is, in our opinion, to be a class leading in all aspects of mobility. Endurance, self-sustainability, agility, obstacle negotiation, cross-country speed, soft soil mobility and strategic mobility. Mobility is the number one enabler for all other capabilities. The digitalization of the CV90 started with the introduction of the CV90 Mark II. At this time, the digitalization consisted of several components that was focused on built-in maintainability, built-in fault localization, and this was to ease the training and maintainability of the platform. The big step of introducing a full digital platform was done in the CV90 Mark III. That opened up for a completely new level of functional development of the platform, with adding the next generation sensor suites, network connectivity, and onboard health usage monitoring system without making major design iterations. The electronic architecture significantly improves the operation capabilities of the CV90. This lies at the heart of our digitalization. Traditionally, the system has been based on CPUs 
But with that, it is challenging to keep a pace with the growing amount of data streams and processing requirements to manage the data. In response, into the latest build standard, we are utilizing the specialized parallel computing speed and performance of the graphical processing unit, GPUs. In addition to CPUs enabling us to bring exceptional power and performance into our CV90. For the crew operating the CV90, this means optimal situation awareness and combat capability. Full data exchange between all types of platforms involved in an operation. Highly effective hums and built-in training with augmented reality. With trillions of floating operations per second, it creates a base for artificial intelligence and machine learning. The complexity becomes manageable and demanding or dull tasks easy to achieve. So the C90 Mark IV configuration had at that time been very focused on base capabilities and core systems. So what has happened the last three years? Well, BA System Heglens has recently secured two large and important programs. Not only important for us, but of course mainly for the users, but also for our local partners and future customers. We're in the final integration phase and have already completed system tests of active protection and anti-tank guided missiles. Now we will provide you with a glimpse of what to expect of the CV90 Mark IV in the coming years. A networked, war-fighting machine built upon combat experience and cutting-edge technology. So, the CV90 Mark IV is a new IFE generation that can take more weight without being any heavier in its base. It's an IFV with the most effective lethality pack yet. It has survivability levels that sets a new benchmark with a renowned mobility that is taking yet another step. A sensor suite providing situation awareness with massive amount of real-time data handled by the cyber-hardened fourth-generation electronic architecture, conducting semi-autonomous decision support, eye fighting. This in a package even more compact in size than its predecessor, still providing even better ergonomics, design efficiency. So faster, more lethal, better protected, with tons of growth, the CV90 Mark IV. So, now you've seen some of the features that the CV90 Mark IV will bring to tomorrow's battlefield. Until the next time, keep your distance and stay safe.